Hey everybody, this is Jesse with Survival Summit. So the other day for TikTok, I made a EDC video, an everyday carry, all the stuff that I usually carry on my person. So I figured, you know what, I probably should make one for YouTube as well. So, start off, I wear True Spec 24-7 cargo pants pretty much all the time. This may seem like a lot, you might think I'm a lunatic, it might look heavy wearing the pants with all this gear, but honestly, it's not. And it's hardly even noticeable. These pants have so many different pockets. These True Specs pants, I really love them. They probably have updated versions of these pants, but I've had these for so long. All right, so I try to cover all my basic needs. Water, fire, little bit of shelter. I have a couple different knives. One's more for bushcraft. Technically, it's just a buck knife, but it's a really, really nice one. And I like to carry this K-Bar as more of a defense weapon. Now, one thing you're not going to notice is a firearm. What is the reason? Well, I don't want YouTube to take the video down, so it's not on here. All right, so let's kind of go through everything first. I have a RFID blocking wall by Maxpedition. I don't even know if they make these anymore. I've had this for years. You might be able to find them somewhere online. I'm not 100% sure. Now... I love the Grail water filter, but you're not going to put it in your pocket. So I like to carry the Sawyer Squeeze. I love this filter. This filter is amazing. Next up, Fresnel lens. Basically, like kind of like a magnifying glass, helps you start a fire. I also have a lighter in one of these nice cases by Exotac. And my favorite, the Yuko Stormproof Matches. These matches will light underwater. That's how amazing they are. They are legitimately stormproof. They also come with a little bit of cotton in the cover. Now, I also have these Survival Summit fire tabs. They're, they're dry, they're treated, waterproof, and they're amazing. I, I can't even tell you how many fires you could start just with these alone. You could probably start a few fires just from each tab. Next up, medical. I always carry a Gen 7 cat tourniquet. It's my favorite. The survival wrap can also be used in terms of medical. I have North American Rescue S-rolled gauze and, of course, a trauma dressing. An Israeli pressure dressing, most people call it. Now, not going to lie, a lot of the times I wear an Apple Watch, but I got this watch by Vare. That's V-A-E-R. This watch is actually really, really nice. It's got Japanese movement. It's assembled in the U.S. It's got a double dome, a sapphire crystal. It's, it's a, I love this watch. It also came with a couple different bands. I believe it's 600 feet water resistant, which I think is 20 bars if you're, if you're a diver. I'm not 100% sure because I am not a diver. I also keep some escape and evasion gear. Kevlar cord. It's a little beat up. You know, to escape from uh, rope, heavy-duty zip ties, duct tape, stuff like that. I have a lockpick set, titanium lockpick set. This item's cool. They don't make it anymore. Perse uh, Perseverant Survival is the company used to make this glass break ball. They don't have them anymore, and I wish they did because they're pretty cool. I also keep a micro clip handcuff key as well as a handcuff shim. And if I happen to be in the city, I have a Silcock key. This will turn on most commercial water spigots. And probably don't need this, but I also have a cat key. I used to be in construction management, so I got a hold of one of these cat keys, and I've been carrying it with me ever since. Oh, how could I miss this? The Uberlieben Craftig Ferro Rod. This is really soft. It throws insane sparks. It's probably my most favorite ferro rod that I've ever used, ever. Now, we get into boots. These are, they're pretty old. These are 511, I, I want to say ATAC side zip boots. So they're easy to get on and off. What I love about them is they have kind of hidden pockets where I put more escape and evasion gear. I also swapped out the laces for paracord and Perseverance Survival used to make this pretty inconspicuous, really nice handcuff key that I basically put on the end 
of each lace. Now, if I'm going to be hiking or I'm going to be in an area where the terrain is rough, I'm going with the Solomon boots. I love Solomon boots. I do still have to switch these out for paracord, but man, these boots are insanely comfortable. Uh, I also have a multi-tool. I think I skipped over that. Uh, this is a Gerber multi-tool. It's not a cheap one. It's actually really nice. And of course, you never know when you might need a guitar pick. If someone has a guitar, where are you going? So I carry that as well. Anyway, this is my EDC kit. I have a bug out bag in every vehicle, which weighs about 20 pounds. And I have a lot of this stuff doubled up in the bug out bag, but I also carry things like, you know, the grail. If it's winter time, I'll have a wool blanket. I'll have a whoopee, stuff like that. So anyway, that is my EDC kit. Hope you guys have a good day.